hey, I didn't feel like going and doing the whole thing at my computer, so I'm just uh, talking into my phone. This might just happen every once in a while. But I wanted to uh, just kind of talk about something. I'm really excited about something that's going on in my life right now because um, if I had a title for this video, I would title it Why First World Problems Matter. You know, we, we talk about these little bitty tiny inconveniences as being first world problems, white people problems, that kind of thing. And, and they are. <laughs> they definitely are. I mean, um, we, we all know what we're talking about here. But um, after a time, these things can add up. Like... If, you, if your life is just kind of overwhelmed with these tiny little inconsequential stupid problems and frustrations and inconveniences, it's kind of like death by a thousand cuts, you know? After a while, it just creates this general sense of suck. And every once in a while, I get to this place where, like, I seem like I've got, like, I'm up to here, my nose is just above the suck, and I have to do something about it. Um, and so I'm doing something about some things right now, and I'm really excited about it. And the only reason I'm able to do it is because, you know, I had that crazy viral video last month, and some extra money is coming my way. It's not quite here yet, so I'm not spending it quite yet. But, uh, well, some of it I am already. But, um, no, there's some things I'm doing in my house, and I'm super excited about it. One of them is this. I'm getting rid of this thermostat. Finally, I'm upgrading to a smart thermostat. I ordered an Ecobee 4 from Amazon, it'll be here on Saturday. Um, and what it actually has, it's, it's super cool. It's kind of like a Nest thermostat, but it's got room sensors. So it will actually tell what room you're in and direct the air there uh, accordingly. And you can, <laughs> you can get on an app on your phone and you can tell it, you know, I want this room to be 71 degrees, 74, whatever. And what's great about that in this house is I'm on the downstairs floor of the house that leads to the stairwell right there in the front door. But um, I work upstairs, our bedroom's upstairs, and it gets really frustrating because our thermostat is down here, right there. And so I'm always having to come down here and like guess what temperature to set it down here in order for it to be remotely comfortable upstairs. And <laughs> it's really hard to gauge that. Not to mention the fact that upstairs where my office is, where all the lights are and stuff, that is a west-facing window, so in the evening it gets just super hot. Like last night until, until midnight. I was, I'm upstairs at midnight. It's like 81, 82 degrees. And I can't control this down here without, you know, causing... It, anyway, it's, it's a super big frustration that always happens, and especially this time of year when the temperature fluctuates so much, it becomes even more of an issue later on in the summer when it started getting super hot. Well, anyway, that's one step that I'm taking to make that easier. The other thing that's happening, this was supposed to happen today, but it's gonna be on Saturday now. Um, I got an energy audit in my house on the advice of my buddy Tom at Green Shorts. Got an energy audit done in my house, found out that my attic wasn't even up to code. Like if we wanted to sell the house right now, we would have to fix that for it to pass inspection which makes me wonder how the hell it passed inspection when we bought it, because that's how it was when we bought it. But anyway, apparently you're supposed to have 18 inches of insulation up there. We have six. <laughs> and also there's, there's a big gap up where the blower is. And anyway, they're coming on Saturday now. They're going to put up radiant barrier underneath the, the house. They're going to put up more insulation. They're going to put uh, wind things at the top, wind turbines, so that the hot air can escape. This is supposed to like cut down my energy bills by like 50%. I'm so excited about this. This is stuff that I wanted to do when I first moved in nine years ago. And God knows how much money I could have saved over the years if I had been able to do it back then. But um, anyway, I'm finally getting to be able to do it and I'm just so excited. So they're coming on Saturday. The Echo Bee is coming on Saturday. I'm hoping that I'll actually like <laughs> feel like I'm in a new home. And later, um, maybe by the end of the month, maybe next month, I'm getting some smart vents. Um, these are just regular vents that we have here. And this is another thing. We have to go around and like close and open vents. We got these sticks around the house so we can close it off downstairs so the cold air will go upstairs. And then this time of year when, you know, it's 50 one day and 80 degrees the next day, when it's 50 the next day, we have to switch this over to heat. We got to go around the house with these sticks and, you know, change all the vents. It's such a hassle. Having this smart thermostat will get rid of most of that, but then I'm going to get smart vents put on. There's one called Flare that works with the Echo B. And what it actually does is it opens and closes vents so that whatever room you want to be in will be the only room that that air will blow into. That Therefore, you don't have to 
go around and open and close vents. So like if I, if I was upstairs in the bedroom and I wanted that to be exactly 70 degrees and I wanted the office to be exactly 75 degrees, I could do that and it would set it. I'm like so excited about that. Um, it's, again, these are things I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And I'm excited to be doing it because after that, I'm actually looking at getting solar panels out here. I've got to redo. You can't really tell in this because it's too, well, maybe if I open the door. I need to get new doors here too. But I've got this pergola right here that is literally falling apart now. And what I want to do is actually put a wood pergola, put solar panels on top. These are exciting things and I can't wait to share them with you. So more to come.